Uh -huh. Those big bins over there, it goes in there. Cool. So we have apparently, according to my boss, we have never run out of water. <laughs> I, I thought it might have had one of those, uh, you know where they put the um, grass and stuff on the roofs? Yeah, no, it doesn't I thought it would have been one of those ones where you were telling me yeah. about it earlier. I thought, oh, you're covered in green stuff from that Volkswagen. <laughs> Did you catch that? They'll never run out of water because they live in Prince Rupert. Can we go look at this first? Yeah. You don't know how to read them? No. I, uh, they're I, both I, welcoming yeah. us. Huh? They're both welcoming us. Oh, I see. See the arms at the bottom? And I can't remember if they read from the top or the bottom. That's what I think. I can't quite fill out like bear. That's eagle or baby eagle on top. There's an eagle on the second one or is that a raven? Bear. Well, I don't know what that guy, he looks stoned. <laughs> Oh yeah, you might. Yeah, you might be onto that one. This is beautiful, so actually. This, the ceilings are original. They kept the original ceilings. Yeah. He barely speaks English. Oh, I love it. I do too. That's what he said. I told him, "Welcome to Canada, dude. You're you're oh, a lucky guy." Fabulous. I'm gonna show you my office. Okay. Transcriptionist. But he's Yeah. Well. Can change the code on it? Uh oh. I won't make I won't make it bad look bad on you. So this is. Slides over. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. Oh my garden is not happy. So oh my goodness. Hang on, my garden's not happy. Oh my hibiscus is looking sad. You know what? Your job looks like it really sucks. I know, doesn't it? Oh my Eat goodness. It. Oh my hibiscus oh my is goodness. not happy. There we are. Oh, and check this out. Hang on. This is my dog's, my boss's dog's toys. Cute. I don't know what their names are. <laughs> He's got dogs too. I can see that. Eh? Our humble airport. I love it. And when I bring my bear dog to work, she's figured out how to get into the building. So she runs down to the front door when she's had enough, and she waits for me by the office door because she's figured out that. The oh down my there. god, she's, that's she hilarious! Up and they slide. Yeah. Who's that cute little boy sticking his head out the window? I know. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> I want to thank you for uh, taking me uh, along with you this afternoon. It's been a beautiful, wonderful afternoon. Exploring Digby Island. Thank you. Yeah, I fun. appreciate it. I had a great time. I had a great time. Oh, it was awesome. Exploring. Got to see all those cool things. The dude got to go poo. Yay, dude! Chuck disappeared. Chuck disappeared. So spending a beautiful day over on Digby with Catherine. Uh, I wandered through town here and um, it's Sunday and it's quiet. So I found a place to camp for tonight. Cost me five bucks. <laughs> and if I look really close throughout my bedroom window, I got a view of the ocean. <laughs> And this guy has a front yard now. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna go uh, let him out and do a little squirt and uh, come back and cook some dinner. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Morning. So far, so good. Other than the dogs are out for walks this morning already. 
this goofball has a special way of saying hi to them all. Hey, goofball, come on. Feeling a bit better, but I think it's time to hit the road. Um, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done this morning, a load of laundry, quick shower, and try to squeeze in one more lunch with my sister. And then we're gonna start heading east. So we made it back to my niece's place and I have a load of laundry in. Uh, I stole a cup of coffee. <laughs> Just me. And um, let's go and jump in the shower in a sec here. Get the van cleaned up and we're gonna get ready for a, a goodbye day. So uh, as we're waiting for my laundry to dry, I have to fix the fridge. What happened with the fridge was we pulled out the center divider and it put the fridge all on total freeze mode. And then when I went to switch it, it went on to, it confused the two compartments. So I ended up freezing a bunch of stuff I didn't want to freeze and only kept the stuff I wanted to freeze cool. So uh, I talked to the company, got some good um, public relations going on with them. They got a hold of back said, what you want to do is you want to unplug it, take everything all out, unplug it, let it sit for an hour or two. And then we'll plug it back in, we'll set the degrees up and hopefully it'll uh, smarten up the computer that's running it all and uh, we'll be able to put all this stuff back in. Oh, the joys of tiny house living, eh? Living in a van down by the river. Okay. So we're getting pretty close. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to hook up lunch with my sister. Excuse me. So lunch with my sister. And then I have another buddy of mine that took me out fishing. He wants to hook up too. So we're gonna try to hook these guys up before I um, slide away from there. And plus my niece isn't home yet, so. Yes, there's a little cleanup I can do. So I finally wrangled her up to take me over. Well, not dinner, we're doing lunch, but I'm still buying steak. She's giving me the finger. This is my sister. You guys have asked what she looks like to see if we look like the same, you know, identical. <laughs> yes, her boobs are as big as mine. But check this out. This is what Prince Rupert are kind of known for. They get their cruise ships all summer long. As they're just coming back after the vid hit. But yeah, it brings a lot of tourism here to the big city. A little too windy for the sister's uh, liking, so we're going to sit down inside. Part of the deal of uh, me coming up here for the wedding, well, and our birthday was, listen, honey, if I have to drive all the way up there and meet you for your birthday for a second time, you can at least take me out for a steak dinner. Right, sis? Steak sandwich, maybe. Now it's gonna be a steak sandwich. <laughs> Thank God, my sister has a little bit of pull around here and we actually pulled off a steak sandwich. Happy birthday, sis. Cheers. <laughs> Look at that, the uh, passenger rain all the way up here in Prince Rupert. It takes like eight hours to get Eight hours to get the terrace. She's constantly stopping for. Oh, you have to keep pulling over for the. the oh, the cargo first. trucks. Yeah, it makes sense. You can say it's six hours in one day. Serious, eh? Yeah. Oh, I could get. Ooh. Don't remember the mobile park over there? Mom and Dad's friends lived. Remember that? No. What? You know these people? Here? Yeah. No. Oh, this is Morrison's old house. I know he lives here. Oh, do you? Hey, Mike. Remember this place? <laughs> well, that was an awesome visit with my sister. Great lunch. 
great conversations, a great little tour on the Nanaimo, <laughs> Prince Rupert. Uh, just talking about the old days. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we're back here at the van, at the bus. Uh, the cooler did not get fixed. It's still doing the same thing it was doing. Hope we'll find a solution to the problem soon. I'm trying to get things packed up so we can get ready to move on. Uh, we're uber, uber close, so uh, maybe within the hour. What time is it? Yikes, it's already five o'clock. Um, I better make a call. Yeah, a nice <coughs> quick little visit with my buddy Ed before we left. Thanks again for everything, buddy. You're awesome. It's a miracle that you and I find. I think I'll make one more stop before I leave this beautiful northwestern coastal town, okay? Just to say goodbye to my buddy Norm. Uh, yeah, so my old buddy uh, Norm was my next door neighbor in the Nama here 45 years ago, and uh, he's the go to guy for. Uh, props and chops in other words boats and motorcycles yeah so yeah i have to stop by and say goodbye to him before i take put it down here and uh of course <laughs> of course we of course get interrupted by customers we got time on our side You know, sometimes that's the hardest part of it, is saying goodbye to people. Uh, people I haven't seen in decades. You cross paths and you have that instant, instant connection. You know, it's kind of weird, eh? You're, uh, oh, close that door. You're leaving a town that you left 45, 50 years ago. And you reacquaint yourself with some of those old people you used to hang out with. And then you have to say goodbye. And it's put me in a, in a weird place. I don't want to leave, but I have to go. I don't know. We're going to head back up to the Skeena River. We're going to find our place along there for the night. Um, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get there, okay? Because I got some thinking to do. I love you guys. Thanks for watching the channel. And uh, we'll say goodnight. And peace, love, and granola. Thanks for tuning in. I want you guys to have a great day. Keep smiling. And tune into our next episode coming up soon. Thanks for watching.